Hello there guys, this is Tuber Tutorials and in this video I will be showing you a Dreamweaver tutorial and I'm going to show you how to make a basic simple um, image map. Um, this is what I mean. You have a good size image on a website and on the image there are various hotspots that takes you to different places that it's linked to. So if I mouse over to this side, you see it changes to a hyperlink click on it and it takes you to wherever it's supposed to go if I choose another area this area right here takes you to another spot and you get the idea so it's, it's basically put in different hyperlinks on an image so it's very simple a lot of website use it it's very good to have on a website and I'm going to show you how to make that very simple and you learn it just like that so what you need to do is use Dreamweaver uh, I got this image from sandals.com that's the image that we're going to be linking various um, things to so open up your Dreamweaver and we're going to create a new HTML document all right and you want to go into your body your body um, section all right and first we need to do is we're going to, we're going to add um, the heading I have um, the palm resort I want to show you quickly how to do that you just open a new um, a new tag, your paragraph tag, open P and then slash greater than less than sign. Always close your tags with that slash. Within it, we're going to type the palm resorts. All right, and we're going to go inside that tag, hit space, go to align, center. All right, now it's centered. Um, we want to customize that a bit, so we need a cascading style sheet that's CSS. So we're going to make that real quick. You just go to Format, CSS Styles, New, and give the style a name. We're going to call it Top, hit OK. Choose what font you want. I had Caviar Dreams at a font size of 36, a color of about brownish. Font style, normal, hit Apply, hit OK, and Dreamweaver automatically creates that. CSS style, so all you need to do is go back to your paragraph tag, go within the tag, hit space, go to class, your class is right there, hit top, and that's your um your heading. So we need to colorize the body, so go to your body tag, alright, hit space, go to BG color, and choose any color you want. I had a kind of light creamish color like Alright, that's fine. Hit OK. And there's your background color. So now we need to go to the gist of this tutorial, which is the image. So we're going to um, hit a space in our coding area. And we're going to go to Insert Image. And choose whatever image you want. I had this one. Hit OK. Give it an alternate text. This is so that if the image is broken on the person's um, computer, they can't view it. Um, an alternate text will come up and show you what that image is. What the name of that image is. So we're going to call it Resorts. You can call it anything you want. Alright, so we need to center that. So just go to Format, Align, Center, and I, there's a border around it. You see, there's a, a black border I had around it. That's very simple. Just go to your properties. If your properties is not open, just go to Windows and click on Properties, and it'll come up at the bottom. Go to the border section and choose whatever border thickness you want. Uh, I think it was 15 I had. That's good. Alright, so now what we need to do is add our um, hotspots to our image. That is very simple. Let me go ahead and bring this up some more. Alright, for this one you're not going to really need coding for this one. All you need to do is go back to that properties um, tab at the bottom. In the corner it says map and it gives you three different shapes choose any shape you want, uh, let's choose a rectangular shape and just draw it on the image wherever hot spots you want to put it I had one right here alright this is gonna come up just hit OK it basically tells you to type um, the name of that spot in the alt field so we're gonna call that sandals alright the target you want to put the target to blank this means that when they click on that hotspot, it will take it will open up a new t a new tab and takes them to the hotspot area. So once you have that, you want to um, add the hyperlink to that hotspot. So we're gonna go to um, our internet. We're gonna go to sandals.com. I'm gonna copy that URL. All right, go back to the link area. Paste it right in there. And that's your 
first um, hotspot. So basically you do that same step throughout the entire image. You can make as many hotspots as you want. And once you're done, you just obviously save your file. Oh, we have to save it. Let's call this image. Alright. And we're going to preview it in our browser. So let's go to File, Preview in Browser. I'm using Google Chrome. Alright. And there's your image. And this is the spot that we linked right here. Click on it. And it takes you straight to sandals.com. So basically, you just do that step over and over again for every um, place of the image that you want to be a hotspot. And that is basically how you create an image map. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps somebody. If it helps you, comment below and let me know. And like the video, subscribe to my channel. And um, this is how you create it. It's very simple, it's very easy, and you learn it. Um, you should learn it from this because it's very easy to do. And the one thing that you need to know is make sure that your image map makes sense, meaning that if you're linking various areas, make sure the area that you're linking takes you to um the mesh area for example i linked the word sandals that took me to sandals.com so make sure that the part that's make sure the hot spots make sense you know make sure it takes you to a part that makes sense so your your website will look more efficient so that's just a helpful hint and once again thank you guys for watching